if you want to make a boss in Rec Room, it's actually pretty easy. So, uh, first, you're going to need these three chips right here. This is a combinator chip. You can just leave it how it is. But the first thing you want to do is wire this pin on the right to this green pin on the left. This is how the boss is going to get damaged. And uh, this right here is a comparer chip. You're going to wire the left side to this point right here. And the right side is going to be wired to here. So if you want the health to be somewhere, I'm going to just say 10. Then you're going to wire it to this right side here. So, to make the damage system, uh, it depends on how you want the boss to be damaged, but for now, I'm going to use this toggle button right here. So when it's toggled on, and when it's toggled off, you're going to want an animation because your boss is going to hit, get hit twice. So you're going to enable projectile collision. That'll make sure if you shoot it, it'll turn on and off. So, you're going to wire this object goal to both of the animations, and you're going to do the same with the object. I'm going to use a dodgeball for now. And then, you're going to want to go into both of your animations, and then you're going to edit them to where the dodgeball goes through the goal. And for the other animation, you're going to do the same thing. Alright, so, this right here, the red pin on the right of the compare chip is when the boss dies. So, I'm going to take this point light, and I'm going to take it over here, and when it's turned off, that means, yeah, so... And you're going to wire the score ping onto this. And that's basically going to trigger everything. Now, a health system is usually easy to make, but it's still easier to make a, a damage system. Essentially, just wire this to that right there. And then you, you're going to want to, you're going to want to edit the text. And then you just... This is a very important. You want to press shift, and then you're going to put this symbol right here, then put a capital R in between. And that should make a zero. And once you have all of this, you have the button with the animations and the dodgeball and the goal. You have all three chips hooked up to the text and the light. You should be good. So I'm going to pretend that this button here is the boss. And you might want to do an animation or a sampler or something other like that. So, um, here's the thing. Uh, you're going to want to edit your animations to be stop at end. And you're going to go into your tools and edit this compare chip to be over here. So if it goes past uh, the damage you want the boss to die at, it'll still be on so the boss won't come back or something. Now, I'm going to use a button right here. And we're going to wire this button to this pin right here. And that'll reset the boss. So, if you want the damage to be faster, then you're gonna you're gonna want to edit the animations. I'm gonna say 400 speed. If it's too fast, then it won't uh, count the damage. And just like that, uh, you have a basic boss.